Hi guys, how's it? Uh, I am currently in the state of Louisiana. Uh, left about uh, 6.30 this morning from Birmingham. Uh, I'm going to actually stop and see my older brother in Louisiana here. He actually lives like in the last town, the last exit before you cross into Texas. So I have a pretty long state to get across here. It's the uh, state that's kind of shaped like a boot or an L or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to just do a clip video after this of uh, some of the stuff that I, some of the bands I saw this weekend and some other things that I saw and a couple of pictures here and there. And um, yeah, man, uh, a year older, hopefully a year wiser. That's always the hope. Um, I do miss my family a lot. This was, uh, you know, even with her leaving on Saturday, it's Monday here. Don't like being away from my missus that long. It kind of sucks. Kind of want to cry a bit, you know, because I miss my woman. But uh, and I miss uh, I miss my kiddo quite a bit, actually, a lot. I miss my kid a lot. <laughs> yeah, so bad that like I'm gonna try and speed home just so I can, you know, see her before she goes to bed. She's uh, she's got school still. And, um, yeah, so we got one last blast of this rugby championship. Uh, looks like uh, we've got some autumn internationals. I guess it's autumn here, our uh, northern hemisphere folks. Uh, looks like Ireland has canceled the USA match, which I'm not really too worried about. Like, I mean, it's just going to be a blowout regardless anyways. Um if the All Blacks cancel as well their trip here to the side of the globe. Uh, they're going to be playing in D.C., Washington, D.C. Probably won't make it out to that one, <laughs> unfortunately. It's just a little too expensive, and uh, you know, I just did this big trip here. But it was fun. Um, the Deep South is different. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how you guys would feel about it. It's uh, quite a bit of pine trees and mountains and just uh, a lot of deep fried food, not a whole lot of healthy food. I ate really poorly for the most part on this trip, but I think that's what you're supposed to do when you're on holiday, is not really worry about calories or anything. So now I've got to go back to reality. I've got to get back in the gym, I've got to get my fitness up, and uh, get the missus in there with me and kind of just uh, shed some of these unwanted pounds that I have, kilos in the world, but uh, yeah, um, really excited about the game coming up this weekend, sucks that the All Blacks didn't seal it up, but uh, I'm really hoping that we both put up strong sides this next week, we'll probably get the lineups released fairly soon here, and uh, give them another run, hopefully come away with the W, save, uh, you know, some good grace, and uh, then we can move on over to these boys, the Bulls, I guess that started this last weekend. I haven't watched any of that yet, obviously, because I had all kinds of other crazy madness going on. And there is a plane crop dusting the field right next to me. I'm not going to move the camera, but it's, yeah, that's kind of intense when you're driving on a freeway doing uh, yeah, 80, 80 miles per hour. So, one, one, 30, 140. Conversion is bad. It's hard for me to convert miles per hour to kilometers per hour, but I can convert kilometers. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. But um, but yeah, just a little clip after this, and uh, you know, I'm pretty sure this will kind of be one of those videos that not many people really watch too much. But um, I just yeah, I like I said, I appreciate all you guys' subscriptions, your support. It uh, it does mean a lot to me. I. Um, kind of just looking at what I can do with this. Uh, I, I've got some things in the works. I'm going to get a laptop and a microphone and try to do this all professional-like and whatnot and just try to deliver you guys some consistent content. Um, you know, with the MLR season starting uh, in February here, I'm definitely going to do a lot of local coverage for that because we've got our own team starting the Jackals. We've started signing guys left and right. Uh, no South Africans as of yet, which does disappoint me a bit. Uh, no Namibians. I'd like to see some of those guys too. Uh, I think we signed an Aussie. We signed a like a. I think he had a single English cap, but he had like over 200 caps in the Premiership. We brought him over. He's like 34 years of age. I guess he'll probably be our veteran on the bench. And uh, I'm 
just excited for the MLR to get back and rolling and having a local team to really put my support behind. Uh, I've tried to support Houston as bad as they've been. Uh, a bit of Austin, they've been hit or miss, but uh, I've tried to support Houston as much as possible because I just like the Aviva Stadium. Uh, if I ever make it down there, I'll, I'll make a video and you guys can see like our first proper professional rugby pitch I've seen in the U.S., um, or at least in my part of the U.S., but um, yeah, I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, I've got a really short one. Uh, I don't actually go back to work until Thursday, so I've got two more days off after this. Got to get laundry done, get the house sussed up. You, you guys know, you, you know the whole story, you know, holiday is over, but then I got to go back to reality on Thursday, and um, yeah, yeah, it should be a, a fun little short week for me, but um, yeah, so after this, there'll be some clips, some concert footage, some photos of the crowd. I unfortunately, I had run into a Kiwi at the at the show. I never ran into him on the last day because I was going to like do a little video with him. I have no idea. Oh, and a truck just had a blowout about, uh, about a hundred meters in front of me. Oh, it's a, wow, it's a, it's a mobile home on a trailer. That's, uh, yeah, I guess you see that out here in the country a bit, man. Damn, that looks, to keep my distance from these guys, man, this is pretty bad. I'm going to try and bust around this guy because I do not want to be around any of this at all. Oh yeah, he's got a complete blowout on like the very back tire. Looks like he's got like 16 of them on there. So maybe he'll be all right until we can get pulled over at the exit up here off the motorway. And uh, yeah, so cheers guys. And I'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Uh, hi guys, how's it? Uh, yeah, so if any of you guys have uh, Netflix, uh, there's a little series on there called Last Chance U. It's about uh, Juco football here in the U.S. And this is the stadium and the school from season one of the series. I was on my way back home and this was on the way. So I had to stop and kind of take a look at it. And it's not too bad. Um, this would probably be smaller than most high school stadiums where I live. But um, yeah, if you guys ever 
want to watch something different on Netflix, look it up. It's actually a pretty entertaining show. Um, I know football isn't really keen on a lot of you guys because it looks boring. But um, yeah, this is just uh, this was something I had always had on my bucket list that I always wanted to come and see East Mississippi Community College here in Scuba, Mississippi. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad for a, for a JUCO. This is a two-year school. Uh, pretty pretty cheap to go here, comparative to like a regular uni here in the states. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is uh, where that series was and where they've won multiple junior college championships here. Um, if any of you follow the NFL, John Franklin III, uh, he was playing for Tampa Bay. He was the quarterback in season one. Uh, Dakota Allen was a DB in season two. I think he plays for Jacksonville now. Um, we got CJ Rivas, just all kinds of guys that were on that, that first couple of seasons that have made it to the league. Uh, then Brittany Wagner, who has become since a, a writer and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this was just something that I thought I'd stop and take a look at. Cheers, guys.